Hi there, welcome to my Adobe Illustrator tutorial. My name is Andrew Kröger from Dagubi. In this tutorial, I would like to show you how to create this vintage label. At first, you have to create a circle. Please choose the ellipse tool and create a circle. Hold the shift key and hold the spacebar and you can move your circle. Okay, the color. I choose this color, change the fill to none, and the stroke color is this. So now make sure that the align to artboard is enabled. And now click on horizontal and vertical line center. So now go to the stroke panel and enable the dashed line, change the white to 56 points, dash to one point, and enable the round gap, and change the gap to 46. Okay. So now duplicate this layer, drag it down to this new layer button and change the color to this. The stroke is white and the fill is this color. Okay. Okay, next duplicate this layer. And with the transform tool, scale it smaller, like this. Now change the color to none. And go to the stroke panel. And change the stroke to dashed line. This time change the dash to 8 points. The gap to 5 points. And the white two points. Okay, make a copy from this layer, scale it smaller, and for this circle I choose this color. The stroke is white and the fill color is this. So next Make another copy and scale it smaller like this and change the color to this the stroke. May change to white and the fill is this color. Okay, next I'm going to create this laurel wreath. Choose the ellipse tool and create a new oval with black fill and none stroke. With the direct selection tool, select the left and the right point and convert it to corner. So now Rotate, oops, sorry. With the free transform tool, rotate this all like this. Scale it a little bit. So now choose the reflect tool. Hold the Alt key and click here. And the axis is horizontal and click on copy. So now select both objects, go to Effects, Distort and Transform and click on Transform. Enable the preview. Now move the horizontal to 10. And we need 10 copies.
Okay. So now we need a new oval. Select the left and right point and convert it to corner. Scale it a little bit bigger. Oops, sorry. Okay, select these two objects and go to Object and click on Expand Appearance. So now select all leaves. Enable Align to Selection and click on this Vertical Distribute Center. Okay. So go to Objects and Group it. So now Go to the Brushes panel and click on New Brush and we need an Art Brush. Click OK and change the colorization method to Tints. So now we need a new circle. I take this circle, make a copy and Scale this smaller. Please hold the Shift in the Alt key. Okay. Change the fill color to none. And now go and click on your new new art brush. So now select this point and this point and click on this button, cup path at selected anchor points. Okay. With the selection tool, select this right path and delete it. Now select this path and choose the add anchor point tool. This. And now add a new point here. And here. Now choose the lead anchor point tool and click on this point and this point. Now with the select with the selection tool, select this. Now choose the reflect tool. When you move your mouse here on this circle, you see this anchor point. Now please hold the Alt key and click on this anchor point. The axis is this time vertical and click on Copy. Ok, next I'm going to create a star. Choose the Star tool and click and drag your mouse, hold the shift key in the spacebar. So the color, I choose this color. Choose the selection tool and enable the align to artboard and click on this button. Make a copy, hold the Alt key and move your star. Make smaller and rotate a little bit. So now choose the Reflect tool and click here on this anchor point. Please hold the Alt key. The axis is vertical and click on Copy. So now select all stars, move it up and scale it a little bit bigger. Hold the Alt and the Shift key.
Okay, now I'm going to add the type, make a copy from this circle and scale it smaller. Go to the type tool and choose the type on the path tool and click on this new circle and now write how to design change the type to this type and set the right to 50 points or 44 this is direct selection tool now you can move this handle and move it so and click on this align center button so next make a copy from this layer and now click on this line and drag it down and now write illustrator And with a free transform tool, scale it bigger. And this smaller. Okay, set the, the size to 50 points. Okay. And now go to the type tool and choose this type tool. Now write A and in. Change the size to 44 points. Now select all the type objects and change the color to this. and select only this object and change the stroke color to this blue okay now enable the align to artboard and click on the center button Oops, I see a little mistake. Illustrator. So now select all these objects and go to objects and click on group. Now it's time to create this red ribbon. Choose the rectangle tool and create a new box like this. For this ribbon, I choose this red gradient, left side this orange, and this red. The type is radial. The type looks so. Now enable line to artboard and click on the center buttons. So now scale this box smaller. Okay. 
now make a copy and select this layer and move it so choose this add anchor point tool plus and click here select the three points enable align to selection and click on this button now select only this point and move it to the left select this two points and move it to the right so next make another copy select this object and scale it smaller select these two points and move it down so now change the color I choose this red make it a little bit darker and for this objects choose this red okay now select the three objects choose the reflect tool and click by holding the alt key on this anchor point axis is vertical and click on copy now select this two rectangles and go to pathfinder and click on unit now select this all these ribbon objects and group it now enable align to artboard and click on the center buttons ok move it down and now arrange this ribbon under this blue label ok and now take this box and move it up over this blue ribbon so next at the type fifty points and this type align to artboard and click on this button ok so move it down and scale it a little Oops. little bit bigger go to type and sorry <laughs> vintage label go to type and click on create outlines now go to pathfinder and click on unit and change the stroke to white now go to the stroke panel set the white to two points change the line stroke to outside and the corner to round join so next choose the line tool line segment tool and create a new line hold the shift key change this line to dashed line and now with direct with the selection tool hold the alt key and 
make a copy, hold the Alt and the Shift key. Now select both lines and group it. You need a copy from this group, drag it down to the this button and move this group under your blue label. And now move it down. And with the transform tool, please transform by holding the Alt and the Shift key. Transform it so. Okay. So next, choose the ellipse tool and create a new circle. Change the color. With the selection tool, hold the Alt and the Shift key, make a copy, now group these two objects, and now select this group and this box, and now click on this path. And now is aligned to key object is enabled and click on this center buttons. Okay. Okay, now I'll um, make some corrections. Select this group and scale it bigger. Now select the other type layer, this, and set the white to 36 points. And this type. Set to 44 points or 42. And now set this type to 40 points and go to the character panel. And set this to 70. Okay. Now select this object. Go to objects and paths and Click on Outline Stroke and change the stroke to, oh sorry, this object I change to this color, fill is this color and the stroke is this color. Change the stroke to three points. So now I add a little bit shadow. For this shadow, I make a copy from this layer. Now select this layer and the transform tool scale it bigger, so, and go to the gradient and choose this white-black gradient, oh, not for the stroke, for 
for the fill. Okay. Change the type to radial. Reverse six gradient and now go to transparency. Transparency and set it to multiply. You find this transparency by window and here transparency. So now choose the gradient tool and change it so Next, select please the laurel wreath. Both objects go to object and click on expand appearance. So now change the color to this. Stroke is white and for the fill color I choose this blue. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, please press thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you want to see more of my tutorials, please subscribe my channel. Hope to see you soon.